good morning, bread of heaven. Come on, good morning, bread of heaven. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. We thank the Lord this morning. This truly is a day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? Hallelujah. Aren't you excited about the things of the Lord? Amen? Come on, give God a hand praise this morning. Come on, let's wake up, Bread Nation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God that he has graced us once more and allowed us an opportunity to be here. Amen? Because without him, we're nothing. Amen? So we thank God for you, Bread of Heaven, all that are here today, those that are yet coming, and those that may be out for whatever reason. We're going to pray, travel in grace over them, and, and that God will bless them on their journeys. Amen? Hallelujah. And we also thank God for all of those that are viewing us live stream. We thank you for your presence. Amen. So come on. I want everyone to get excited this morning. We're going to have a Holy Ghost good time today. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. We got to get excited for the Lord because we didn't wake ourselves this morning. Amen. You didn't keep yourself in the midnight hour. Amen. So you want to just go ahead and give him praise. Amen. Glory to God. So we thank you. We welcome you for this day. This is a blessed day, amen. Our God has done it again. When I look around, he has done it once more, amen. Grace and mercy, hallelujah, has followed us and kept us once more. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for his presence. We thank him for his people. Bread Nation, this is a blessed house, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a hand praise as we're going to have the deepest of our come to give us our scripture and we'll move forward with the service. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. Good morning. The Old Testament reading this morning is coming from the first Samuel, book of first Samuel. First chapter, verses 12 to 15. First book of Samuel, the first chapter. Verses 12 through 15. And it reads, And it came to pass that she continued praying before the Lord that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spoke in her heart, all of her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, O oh, my Lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have poured out my soul before the Lord. First Samuel, verse 12, 15. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'll read the New Testament, chapter John, the 14th chapter, and the verse 11. And it reads, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are uh, many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare the place for you. And if I go and prepare the place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And that where I am, there ye may be also. John 14, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, give God a holy hand of praise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Truly blessed the Lord to be here this morning. It is a wonderful time to, for the saints to come together to worship God in spirit and in truth. Yes, yes. The Bible tells us, amen, to but say not to assemble ourselves together. Oh, yes, Amen. But you remind us we come up your encouragement and, and to lift up one another and to bless his name. Amen. Amen. So we come to lift up the name of Jesus this morning and just to worship him. Amen. We just come to let go and let God yeah. have his way. Amen. 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 The, the, the church of old used to say, uh, uh, you know, if you, if you come, you might as well, since you're here, you might as well just 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 just, just praise him. Yeah. Amen. Since you're here, you might as well just lift it up. Amen. Since you're here. Amen. Amen. It's like you say, we're not here for a shape, form, or fashion. Neither a show to this unfriendly way. But we come to magnify the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's just lift it up the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, the Bible, hallelujah, is the highest praise. Hallelujah. Let's just magnify and bless it for who he is. Because of who you are. Glory, oh God. Because of who you are, God, I give you praise. For you are Jehovah Jireh. You are my provider. God, it's because of who you are. Because, God, of who you are. Because of what you've done. Because of what you're doing right now, oh God. We lift up your name. We exalt you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Because you're still. 
Thank you, Jesus Christ. We're so thankful to you, to those that are listening by, feel by listening, listening and viewing. We thank God for you. Amen. It don't make no difference what you're going through. I said don't make no difference what you're going through. God's got a blessing with your name on it. I said God got a blessing with your name on it. I'm going to talk to you just for a second. I say, God got a blessing with your name on it. If you believe that, let me see you raise your hand. If you believe that God got a blessing with your name on it. Different, but you're going. 
God, what's going on? Come on, let's get ready. Bring it on down. Raise your hand. Lord, I worship you. Because of who you are. Raise your hand. Oh, if you believe that, raise your hand. Lord, I worship you. Because of who you are. Raise your hand. Oh, if you believe that, raise your hand. Lord, I worship you. Because of who you are
can put my faith in everything. Because I know it's not about me. It's not of me. It's not by me. It's because the Lord died and saved you and I that you and I may live and have life and life more abundantly. You ought to give him a shout like that. He always, the Bible, I love it. He says he is a reward 
of those who diligently, carefully, lovingly, wholeheartedly seek help. Come on, somebody. I want you to just sow your seed today. Whatever you write it and believe it for, I want you to be to pray for that today. Don't just write it and put it on the envelope and ship it in there and shove it in the bucket. I want you to have an expectation. Come on, y'all ain't listening to me. I need you to have an expectation, Bread Nation. Bread Nation, this is a blessed house. I need you to be healthy. You need me to be healthy. And when we sow our seed, you're not sowing it just for you. You're sowing it for the body. Come on, somebody. But I want you to let your mind rest on heaven. That when I sow my seed, my God heard it. He received it. He's already blessed. Come on, somebody give him a praise. Come on, give him a praise. Aren't you glad he's allowed to receive to the soil? As a part of your harvest. That's the kind of God we serve. Not one that we have faith that he's going to do something. One that he's going to do something. The Bible says that our hope should be in the Lord. The Lord is our hope. Somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So with your seed in hand, beloved. Hallelujah. I don't know if you feel it. I feel the Holy Ghost this morning. I feel his presence in here this morning. Hallelujah. We gotta do more than just sit around and just smile and business as usual. Come on, somebody. 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 Come Worldly outcome will be what you receive. But in this house, we call this house holy. Come on, let the body say holy. Come on, together one more time. Holy. We're holy. Holy. Hallelujah. So when you're seated here, we're asking you to stand all over the building as we move forward with this service. I don't know if you feel it like I feel it. But I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to show how much I love the Lord. Sometimes they don't look pretty. Uh, come on now. Sometimes the song may not come out as pretty as you want to hear it. But I'm not ashamed or afraid to praise my God. To praise my Savior, Jesus. Hallelujah. So with the seated hand, let us pray together. And we move forward with the service. Amen. Let us bow and pray. Father God in heaven. Creators of the heaven, the earth, and everything thereof, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for your people this morning that have come to the house believing to receive a blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, they stand in obedience in the giving of their seed. Now, Father, we pray that every seed meet the need that they have on their heart. For you are a need meeting God. And, Father, we know that you can accomplish all things but fail. Now, Father, bless everyone here today. Bless everyone that's viewing us and everyone attached to this body that they be blessed and abundant. Let the body say increase. Amen. Increase. Come on, shout it again. Increase. Increase, increase in their bodies. Increase in their ministry. Increase in their houses. Increase in their family. Increase in everything that you designed for us is our prayer. Now, Father, we pray that blessing today and believe that it has already worked out. In the mighty name of Jesus, we call it so by faith. Let the body say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Starting from the rear of the ass is your turn place in the walls. Making your way to the front. The usher is coming forward to receive the giving. May God bless you. And may God keep you.
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for you all today, and we want to move forward with the service. But I want to just got a word. I'm going to say this before. We got announcers coming. And there will be a few additions to the announcement here shortly. But the word has come that somebody in here is expecting a blessing. Somebody's, somebody's going to receive a breakthrough. I don't know who it is, but I believe the word of the Lord. Amen? So you have to be open to receive your blessing. Amen? Hallelujah. Somebody's blessed already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I don't know who it is, but somebody is about to receive a breakthrough today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm praying that you will have an ear to hear, an eye to see, and a heart to receive what the Lord is doing and saying in the days in, in here today. Amen. So I'm going to move forward. I just want to put that in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. I'm going to move forward and let the service go forward. As, and I announce that Vera Hill is coming again. Sister Vera Hill, we're so glad to see her back in the house again. Hallelujah. Back up and bring it. But we're going to move forward with the service. We're going to have our announcement and we're going to move forward with the service. God bless you. Good morning, everyone. It's good to be back. I sure seem like I've been months and months I've been out, but I'm not here. I missed it not being here. And I'm so glad that I'm back again. Praise the Lord. And I just, I did get a little thank you call. To all my church family, thank you for all the prayers, visits, your text messages, even phone calls that I missed. <laughs> And may God continue to bless each and every one of you. Very right. 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 good. Our, our regular announcements, our new announcements. Pastor James and Apostle Brenda Jefferson be celebrating 20 years of leading God's people. And this is to take place October the 14th through the 20th. And this is a seventh day of, of heaven on earth. And they have in, uh, many guest speakers. Sister Shalara Hatton, Apostle Lauren Bra Lawrence Braggs, Apostle Dennis Cook, Bishop Kenneth Robinson. And Friday night service will be only one night service, and it will take place Friday, October 18th at 7 o'clock at the Robinson Center on West Markham. And the speaker will be Reverend Jamal Harrison uh, Bryant, and, and Pastor James in a Apostle Brenda Jefferson Church is located in uh, Sherwood, Arkansas, and it's Covenant Faith, Praise, and Worship Center, 9900 Brockton, Norwood. Our regular announcements are uh, Joy Fellowship every third Friday night at 7, every fourth Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, uh, Saturday morning at 6 o'clock is prayer. The outreach ministry meet at the Good Shepherd Center on the second and fourth Sunday at four o'clock. The men's ministry meet every third and third Saturday at seven a.m. And every Sunday evening, every third and first, first and third Sunday evening, we have worship service here at the church at six thirty. Our choir rehearsal on the Wednesday before the second Sunday and we sit before the fourth Sunday and every second Sunday and the praise team rehearsal on the first and third Sunday and Wednesday night Bible study is at 7, Sunday school is at 9.30 and our morning worship is at uh, 10.45 and we do have another announcement on the third Sunday which is August 18th at 4 o'clock the choir or praise team we are invited to Hot Springs, Arkansas it's Reverend Chapman. I got to get the name of the church. I don't have the name right now. And that's August the 18th. And also, uh, this week, Sister Gussie is celebrating her birthday this Tuesday. 69 years ago. God bless you. Amen. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. There's a lot of exciting things happening at the place called Bread. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to add to a couple of things to the announcement, um, just for your, your just for your knowing. Um, we also on next Saturday outreach. Uh, here at the church, we do have an outreach team. Amen? Amen. And it's called we, we call it Whole. W H O L E. It's called Willing Hands of Love Evangelistic Outreach. Amen? Amen. And this particular time, we're going to do an inreach. Amen? Amen. So I want you to all of those here, the children, we're going to next Saturday is what we said. Sunday during service. We're going to we need to get the needs of the children in the house. Amen of things that they're needing for school. Amen. So I want to put that in the hands of you after the service. Elder Saranda and uh, Miss Alvin, I'm going to throw her in there too. Y'all report to them and let them know so we can get a list of the needs in the house. Amen. 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 And also I want to say, say this, that we are going to start something different here at the church, which we should have been doing all the time, on transportation. If there's, amen, if there's anybody in the house or you know someone that wants to come worship with us on Sunday mornings, we will, we need to get their names and get their times and know that there will be a time that we're going to bring them here. We'll come pick them up. If, but we need to have some time, a notice ahead of time so we can get there and pick them up and be here on time for the Sunday school service as well as the worship because the bus will be Bring them and they will leave after the service. Amen? So it won't be a leave after Sunday school and come back and be, once you're here, you're here, and after service, then we will take you back to your destination and back home. Amen? So please, if you know anybody that wants to come worship with us or uh, labor with us, let us know those names. And that will be a consistent thing that we want to do every week to give their names and their times, their phone number, their times. So we can get and make sure that they're coming to the bread nation. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So with that being said, we're going to move forward with the service. And I'm going to ask the ministers to come forward, to come take their place. Amen? And I'm going to ask the speaker of the hour to come up. Amen? She will sit up here with us. Amen? How many of you feel blessed already? Come on, come on. Y'all are excited like I am. How many of you feel blessed already? Hallelujah. We thank the Lord today that this is a special day that he has made. Amen. Hallelujah. And we, we thank him for all that he's doing in this hour. And we believe a word is coming. I'm not going to stand here and put on the hour. Today, my wife, my better half, amen, the woman of God, Elder Saranda Williams, is going to bring the word. And I'm going to turn it over to her, amen, as we'll be blessed. Amen. Come on, let's receive a word of hand praise as we turn it over to her. Elder Saranda Williams, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord told me to declare that someone will be set free today. Hallelujah. 
so God, go forth and protect them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And give it honor to whom honor is due, our elders and pastors. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We're not going to tear the time. We're going to get to the word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Because if the word don't do it, it won't be done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In prayer of heaven, it's the word or not. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Say, the Lord rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The word declares by his stripes were healed. Hallelujah. He was wounded for our iniquities, bruised for our transgressions, and by his stripes we're healed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're coming from the New Testament today in Philippians 4 and 6. If you will please stand for the reading of the word. Hallelujah. 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 When you get it, say amen. Philippians 4. Verse 6. Starting at verse 6. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for the word that comes to set us free. That comes to deliver. Hallelujah. I'm free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Philippians 4. Actually, I'm going to start with verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, yeah. if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Yeah. Yeah. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Yeah. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Paul has written a letter from jail. Right. to the Philippians basically saying I appreciate you for all that you've done for me thank you for considering me in my bonds I can't be there with you but I'm coming to encourage you I'm coming today to encourage bread of heaven amen 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 hallelujah hallelujah there's a few there's a list of things that he told the Philippians to do. Sometimes we'll read scripture, you know, quickly and, and it's lost in translation about what we should be doing or thinking or saying. For the purpose of a topic is what to do with your worries. Hallelujah. The word says be anxious for nothing. It didn't say be anxious for something. Be anxious about our children, about our jobs, about our finances. It said be anxious for nothing. Hallelujah. And it also says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. Uh, now, what creates worry? Huh. You know, we get worried when we don't have the answers. Uh, well, yeah. When we don't know what to do uh, in a particular situation. Yeah. Yeah. Or not knowing when it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Or how it's going to happen. Come on, now. And not understanding why it happened. Right. Come on, now. We worry about those things. Uh, uh, but the word says, be anxious for nothing. No. Be anxious for nothing. Right. Hallelujah. And then on the flip side of that, 
It says in everything, not a few things, not some things, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made on to God, be made known unto God. Hallelujah. In everything. You know, sometimes we try to tuck that little piece of hurt away. Because we don't want to put that on the altar. We want to hold on to it just in case the opportunity arrives. That we might have an opportunity to get even. Let's just tell the truth in God's house. We don't want to give that little piece up. Because the next time we see that person, I got something for them. We don't want to talk about that little piece of offense. Because we want to take the opportunity to tell them exactly where we stand about the situation. But the word says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God. Now I'm going to be honest with you. There have been times when I felt like this person stabbed me in the back. I don't know if y'all may have heard this story before. But I knew that I had to pray for them because they needed prayer at that time. You stabbed me and you need me to pray for you. Oh, okay. I was hurt. I mean, I was hurt. Because with prayer, there's sacrifice. You know, you don't just go down and, and pray for folks all willy-nilly. You, you expecting God to move on their behalf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But how I many of you know when you're praying, your back is exposed? All right. Come on. Come on now. Right. It don't always go the way we think it ought to go. Right. Hallelujah. 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 I had to cry out to God. Help my heart. Help me, O oh God. Help my heart so I can continue to do the things that I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Hallelujah. And the more I focus on God, the less I feel. The more I focus on God, the less I hurt. The more I focus on God, the less I worry about who said what, why he said it. Why would they do something like that? I didn't have time for that. Because my focus was on God. And I needed him to move on that person's bank. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you're real about it, then you got to be real 100%. Yeah. My husband has a saying that says you either 100% together or you 100% alone. Right. You either all in or you ain't. Just to paraphrase. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It says take everything, big and small. Yeah. All of it. All of it. Hallelujah. There's an old hymn, Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything, everything to God in prayer. You know, worrying doesn't bring your solution. Care does not bring your solution. Prayer brings your solution. Hallelujah. And the solution may not be what you think. All right. Hallelujah. It might not be a check in the mail. You know. Your solution might be, you're going to know how to trust me next time you see this situation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your solution might be, you're going to grow up. That's not going to bother you next time. All right. Then he might not move that person out of your way. Hallelujah. That person might be put there on purpose to help you grow up. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not every stone is a stumbling block. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Especially when you see it's in front of you. Why would you stop? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Turn your cares into prayers. 
people I loved went on to glory. All right. I didn't know that time was up. Right, right. Huh. But it was. And you have to live through that. You have to go through that. Yes. And you still have to cry out to God, help me. Right. Yeah. Help my heart, God. Yeah. Help my mind. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, you know, we're humans are selfish people. We're selfish. Yeah. We want what we want. We want it how we want it. We want who we want. We want to hold on. We want to love who we want as long as we want. Hallelujah. And we want God to do everything we tell him to do. Because that's what we want. Yeah. Right? Right now. No, we're just telling the truth. But our time was up. His time was up. And his time was up. And her time was up. And her time was up. And his time was up. And I was like, Lord, why you bring all this hurt my way? What I do to deserve all this? Because it's all about me. What I do to deserve all of this? He said, why not you? Why not? It was an only response. Why not you? You still mine. You're not the only one going through. Thank you, Lord. Let's talk about this. Yes. Yes. Because I was like, Lord, I'm not going to go lay hands on nobody else. They die. I don't want to pray for nobody. Make it be better if I don't go. I wasn't, I wasn't in a happy place. Wasn't nothing good about it. It was, a, it was a long time before I was able to walk down Baptist Halls and yeah. St. Vincent Hallways without my mind would just go back. The Lord had to heal that. Right. Yeah. Right. He had to do that for me. He had to grow me up. Right. I've had some breakdowns in the closet, in the shower, is in the corner just boo-hooing and bawling. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. It was a little better in the shower because the water was washing the tears out of my face. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Let's say it. it hurt. We hurt. We're human. Yeah. Yeah. We're human. Yeah. But God is still God. Yeah. He's still God. Yeah. He's still on the throne. Lord. He's still delivering. He's still healing. Hallelujah. He's still making a way out of no way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he says, with thanksgiving, yeah. release it all into his hands. So these little hands ain't big enough to hold it. These shoulders aren't bold enough and strong enough to hold every single problem that we got that comes up. We can't do that. It was never meant for us to do that. That's right. We have to let God be God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. And it says, why would, why, why would we do it with Thanksgiving? Huh. We will do it with Thanksgiving because our Thanksgiving is the faith part of it. That's an exercise of faith. Yes, yes. we're going to thank him for what he's already done. Right. Hallelujah. That's we're going to thank him for what he's going to do. Yes. We're going to thank him for what he's doing right now. We're going to even thank him for what we don't know he's going to do. All right. 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 Have your way, God. Yeah. I thank you for being God. I thank you for being who you are. I thank you that your ways are not my ways. Right. I thank you that your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. His promises are sure. Yes. His promises are yes and amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Abraham gave glory to God before he ever saw his promise. Right. Before there was any going to be fulfilled, he gave thanks. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Y'all know, we, we were never created to be warriors anyway. Come on now. He didn't create us to worry. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. He created us to be warriors. 
Not worry. Right. Right. Uh, right. The song says, in his eyes on the sparrow, uh -huh. I know uh -huh. he's watching out for me. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now I said all this, I just told you how bad my mind was back in the day. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. We cannot entertain any and everything and expect to have the peace of God. Okay. Proverbs 16 and 3 says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Amen. It says, Take every thought, every thought captive, and make it obedient to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, glory, glory. Hey, uh, let's see how many. Y'all remember those 45 records? Yeah. 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 How the needle would get stuck yeah. in one spot. Yeah, it would. And it would just say the same thing over and over and yeah. over yeah. again. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Give a little push. Yeah. But by the time you figured out it was stuck, you lost your rhythm. Uh -huh. You don't want to groove no more. Uh -huh. You got this shit in a song. All of the sin of the whole 
word. Can you imagine knowing before he went to the cross? Hallelujah. But he loved us so much. He loved us so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He loved Ray Ray so much. He said, she don't know me like that. But I know her. They don't know me like that. But I know them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Philippians 2 and 14 says, Do all things without murmuring and disputing. The beauty that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. Are we crooked and perverse? Are we still crooked and perverse? It was crooked and perverse when Paul was talking to Philippians. It's crooked and perverse now. There was a shooting in Ohio this morning and a shooting in El Paso yesterday. And there was one that didn't make the news in California on Thursday. Come on. Come on. Still crooked and perverse. Led by crooked and perverse. Now, 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 now. But it says, among whom shine as lights in the world. That's our job. Shine as lights in the world. Now, who are you shining for? Who can see your light? Can we agree we can shine again? I don't want to go. Not to show off, you know, not to be in the spotlight. Right, right. But can we agree that the world needs our light? The world still needs our light. And it needs it now more than ever before. Hallelujah. But it's hard to shine your light when your countenance is saying, I'm stressed out. I can't think. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's going on with this situation. I don't know how we're going to pay for this girl to go to school. Because it's a whole bunch of money. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 